are installing an ultrasound machine at a hospital and this ultrasound machine has got a special kind of probe that you're going to see later it came in a huge box and so gotta take all the packing material out there's a lot of little boxes I've already lots of them there you think I mean it takes a lot it probably took longer to package than it's gonna take me to put together mostly it's a mess uh, sometimes the the hospital takes out all the packing for you this time they didn't so gotta do it myself This machine's worth about sixty thousand. So I don't know how much of that went into the packaging, but uh, obviously I would like to make, make absolutely sure that it got here in one piece. It's all the screen now, it's not just a screen actually, it's the heart of this whole thing. It's the brains too. And it literally just drops into place. There's two tabs in the back that hold it in, it just, once you line it up, it snaps on. And then we're going to install the probe. The probe is very sensitive, so it's got a special connector that always stays covered unless it's hooked up to the ultrasound machine it's got lots of little called contacts and they gotta line up exactly exactly right and then you just want to lock it in place Sometimes if it doesn't want to lock, then it's not exactly the way you want it. And then we're going to install the batteries. So it can run on two or four batteries or power, whatever you want. And the the batteries they just slide right in.
when you put the first battery in the machine will power on and then we want to make sure that there's no loose connections in the in the bottom of the machine and also we're going to route the foot pedal into one of the USB ports at the bottom there's a set of foot pedals to operate the machine in case your hands are busy but there are also USB ports at the front of the machine. I did install the basket at the bottom and the power cord and it's a little bit tangled. And now we're going to test the probe. So the probe goes, it has two directions. It goes circular and it goes vertical. And you can imagine where this probe goes. So if you push the buttons on the probe, it can adjust the direction of the measurements. So I'm going to switch to horizontal, I mean vertical and now it measures along the length of the probe if I squeeze it really hard though you can see an image forming and uh, that confirms that it's working 